Lesson 9 for February 20 to 26, To Serve and to Save. Read by Dr. Percy Harold. Monday, February 22. Unnamed Individual Servant. Question. What is the role and character of God's unnamed servant, whom God chooses and on whom he puts his spirit, as we read in Isaiah 42, verses 1 to 7, Behold my servant, whom I uphold, my elect one, in whom my soul delights. I have put my spirit upon him. He will bring forth justice to the Gentiles. He will not cry out, nor raise his voice, nor cause his voice to be heard in the street. A bruised reed he will not break, and smoking flax he will not quench. He will bring forth justice for truth. He will not fail nor be discouraged till he has established justice in the earth and the coastlands shall wait for his law. Thus says God the Lord, who created the heavens and stretched them out, who spread forth the earth and that which comes from it, who gives breath to the people on it and spirit to those who walk on it. I, the Lord, have called you in righteousness and will hold your hand. I will keep you and give you as a covenant to the people, as a light to the Gentiles, to open blind eyes, to bring out prisoners from the prison, those who sit in darkness from the prison house. Choose the best answer or combination of answers. 1. He provides justice for the nations. 2. He accomplishes his goals quietly and gently but successfully. 3. He is a teacher. 4. He serves as a covenant between God and the people. 4. He gives light or hope by healing blindness and liberating prisoners. 6. All of the above. I think it's all of the above. Question. How does the role and character of this servant compare with that of the shoot from the stump of Jesse, on whom the Spirit of the Lord also rests, in Isaiah 11? Let's read Isaiah 11 just to refresh ourselves on that. Beginning at verse 1, There shall come forth a rod from the stem of Jesse, and a branch shall grow out of his roots. The Spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him, the Spirit of wisdom and understanding, the Spirit of counsel and might, the Spirit of knowledge and of fear of the Lord. His delight is in the fear of the Lord, and he shall not judge by the sight of his eyes, nor decide by the hearing of his ears, but with righteousness he shall judge the poor, and decide with equity for the meek of the earth. He shall strike the earth with the rod of his mouth, and with the breath of his lips he shall slay the wicked. Righteousness shall be the belt of his loins, and faithfulness the belt of his waist. The wolf also shall dwell with the lamb, the leopard shall lie down with the young goat, the calf and the young lion and the fatling together, and a little child shall lead them. The cow and the bear shall graze, their young ones shall lie down together, and the lion shall eat straw like the ox. The nursing child shall play by the cobra's hold, and the weaned child shall put his hand in the viper's den. They shall not hurt nor destroy in all my holy mountain, for the earth shall be full of the knowledge of the Lord as the waters cover the sea." And in that day there shall be a root of Jesse who shall stand as a banner to the people. For the Gentiles shall seek him, and his resting place shall be glorious. It shall come to pass in that day that the Lord shall set his hand again the second time to recover the remnant of his people who were left, from Assyria and Egypt, from Pathros and Cush, from Elam and Shinar, from Hamath and the islands of the sea. He will set out a barrier for the nations, and will assemble the outcasts of Israel, and gather together the dispersed of Judah from the four corners of the earth. Also the envy of Ephraim shall depart, and the adversaries of Judah shall be cut off. Ephraim shall not envy Judah, and Judah shall not harass Ephraim. But They shall fly down upon the shoulder of the Philistines toward the west. Together they shall plunder the people of the east. They shall lay their hand on Edom and Moab, and the people of Ammon shall obey them. The Lord will utterly destroy the tongue of the sea of Egypt. With his mighty wind he will shake his fist over the river, and strike it in the seven streams, and make men cross over dry shod. 
there will be a highway for the remnant of his people who will be left from Assyria as it was for Israel in the day that he came up from the land of Egypt. As in Isaiah 42, the Davidic ruler of Isaiah 11 acts in harmony with God, providing justice and deliverance for the oppressed, as well as wisdom and knowledge of God. We found that this shoot and root of Jesse is the Messiah, the divine child of Isaiah 9, 6 and 7, who also brings, as it says in verse 7, peace for the throne of David and his kingdom with justice and with righteousness. The servant in Isaiah 42 is obviously the Messiah. Question. How does the New Testament identify the servant of Isaiah 42, 1-7, who provides justice? Let's refresh with Isaiah 42, beginning at verse 1. Behold, my servant whom I uphold, my elect one, in whom my soul delights, I have put my spirit upon him. He will bring forth justice to the Gentiles. He will not cry out, nor raise his voice, nor cause his voice to be heard in the street. A bruised reed he sh will not break, and smoking flax he will not quench. He will bring forth justice for truth, he will not fail nor be discouraged, till he has established justice in the earth, and the coastlands shall wait for his law. Thus says God the Lord, who created the heavens and stretched them out, who spread forth the earth and that which comes from it, who gives breath to the people on it, and spirit to those who walk on it. I, the Lord, have called you in righteousness and will hold your hand. I will keep you and give you as a covenant to the people, as a light to the Gentiles, to open blind eyes, to bring out prisoners from the prison, those who sit in darkness from the prison house. And we compare that with Matthew twelve fifteen to 21 But when Jesus knew it, he withdrew from there, and great multitudes followed him, and he healed them all. Yet he warned them not to make him known, that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by Isaiah the prophet, saying, Behold my servant whom I have chosen, my beloved in whom my soul is well pleased. I will put my spirit upon him, and he will declare justice to the Gentiles. He will not quarrel nor cry out, nor will anyone hear his voice in the streets. A bruised reed he will not break, and smoking flax he will not quench, till he sends forth justice to victory, and in his name Gentiles will trust. Matthew 12 quotes from Isaiah 42 and applies it to the quiet healing ministry of Jesus, God's beloved Son, in whom he delights, as we read in Matthew 17 Verse 5. While he was speaking, behold, a bright cloud overshadowed them, and suddenly a voice came out of the cloud, saying, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. Hear him. And Isaiah 42, 1. Behold, my servant whom I uphold, my elect one in whom my soul delights, I have put my spirit upon him. He will bring forth justice to the Gentiles. And Matthew three sixteen and 17, when he had been baptized, Jesus came up immediately from the water, and behold, the heavens were opened to him, and he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and alighting upon him. And suddenly a voice came from heaven, saying, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. It is he whose ministry re-establishes God's covenant connection with his people. As we read in Isaiah 42, 6, I, the Lord, have called you in righteousness and will hold your hand. I will keep you and give you as a covenant to the people, as a light to the Gentiles. And Daniel 9, 27, Then he shall confirm a covenant with many for one week. But in the middle of the week he shall bring an end to sacrifice and offering. And on the wing of abominations shall be one who makes desolate, even until the consummation which is determined is poured out on the desolate. Jesus and his disciples gained justice for people by delivering them from suffering, ignorance of God, and bondage of evil spirits caused by Satan's oppression. As you read in Luke 10.19, Behold, I give you the authority to trample on serpents and scorpions, and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. 
Then God died to ratify the new covenant, as we read in Matthew twenty six, twenty eight. For this is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for many for the remission of sins. And to gain justice for the world by casting out Satan, the foreigner who had usurped the position of ruler of the world, as we read in John twelve thirty one to 33 Now is the judgment of this world, now the ruler of this world will be cast out, and I, if I am lifted up from the earth, will draw all peoples to myself. This he said, signifying by what death he would die. And so to finish the day, look at Isaiah 42, verses 1 to 4, the depiction of Christ. Spend some time dwelling on the life of Christ. What specific characteristics of his ministry so aptly fulfilled this prophecy? What lessons can we learn about how we should be ministering to others as well? Isaiah 42, beginning at verse 1. Behold my servant whom I uphold, my elect one in whom my soul delights. I will put my spirit upon him. He will bring forth justice to the Gentiles. He will not cry out, nor raise his voice, nor cause his voice to be heard in the street. A bruised reed he will not break, and smoking flax he will not quench. He will bring forth justice for truth. He will not fail nor be discouraged, till he has established justice in the earth, and the coastlands shall wait for his law. Hi there. Thanks for watching this video on the Advent Band Ministries YouTube channel. Please subscribe and click the bell icon to be alerted whenever we upload new videos. So, until we meet him in the clouds. May God continue to bless you. This lesson was read by Dr. Percy Harold for Christian Services for the Blind. It's supported by the Sabbath School Department and Hope Channel Australia and is rebroadcast by Christian Record Services and through podcasts at It Is Written in the United States, Hope Channel Germany and through Apple iTunes and SoundCloud. Remember, God is always faithful.